from the Holy Relic and leave at once, or you'll share the same fate as your minions. Damn, I ran out of time. I told Fudo that he should have ended you a long time ago, but he wouldn't budge. Fudo is a monk? Oops, perhaps I've said too much. Or have I? <laughs> yes, he's a monk. A Japanese one, of course, a Sohei. He frets that so many people have had to suffer, but still justifies his behavior in the name of lofty goals. Uh, but why keep talking about him? Let's get down to business. Step away from death. Yep. I'm assuming this is the relic? If by relic you mean one of the sections of the Heshibi Jade Disc, then yes, it is. My guess has been confirmed. Heshibi? According to legend, this powerful artifact endows its owner with incredible power. All the manuscripts state that the disc disappeared 300 years ago during the Mongol invasion. That's right. As the barbarian army approached the capital, the order was given to break up the disc and hide it. The capital was Hangzhou back then, so the pieces were hurriedly hidden in these parts. Why is everything always so complicated? You could have just destroyed the disc. But no, you had to split it into pieces, so that one day, some psychopath would try to unite them and take over the world. While the Heshibi is whole, the energy contained inside it is in constant circulation, and doesn't reveal itself in any way. If the disc is destroyed... This energy will be abruptly released and cause a terrible cataclysm. Right now the disc is not whole, but the instability of the shards can be controlled if they are kept in special places where power is concentrated. The sacred mountains of the Middle Kingdom are such places. The first shard was hidden in the Taoist Temple on Mount Longhu. 
The second was hidden in the Buddhist temple on Mount Juhua and later brought here. The third shard should be kept in a Confucian temple, but we don't know which one. You keep talking about the great power that this disc bestows, but what is it exactly? Ashibi erases the boundary between worlds. Its owner can summon thousands of spirits from other worlds in an instant, and they will all obey his will. He will have to pay a terrible price for it, though. The person who performs this ritual binds himself to the disc and is torn from the wheel of rebirth. The disc absorbs its owner's essence after his death, and it forever becomes a part of Heshibi. The person responsible for all this has either gone mad in their hunger for power, or has nothing left to lose. This is why the abbot suggested that we keep the shard until the conflict with the Wu Ku is over. He said that the shard will remain stable for a long time if nobody tries to use its energy. Meanwhile, they will try to find a new place to hide it. Excellent. Let's take the shard and head back to the Tulu before the scouts start following us. While the heroes made plans, good news arrived from Wang Taishin. His informant on the Ryukyu Islands had found out some valuable information about Fudo, the Wuku leader. This person would meet them in the town of Naha, capital of Ryukyu. Half of the monks went there on Li Haibo's ship, while the other half stayed behind to protect the country from pirate raids. We've made it to Okinawa. I didn't think that I would ever come back here. They know my ship well at the local port, but I'm not exactly welcome there, so I've anchored in a secluded cove. Something tells me that you're no merchant, but a simple smuggler. An ex-smuggler? Where are you going to find a merchant as skilled with the spear as me? You're not actually that skilled with it. Ugh, you guys deserve a kick in the butt. I don't want to interrupt your fascinating conversation, but we should get down to business. The informer is waiting for us at a tea house in the center of town. Wang Tai Shin should be there already. If the Wuku are truly in league with the Ryukyu merchants, they may have people stationed all over the island. Let's split up to attract less attention. They don't look like simple pirates. Their armor certainly looks stronger.
Norman didn't wait for us and escaped through the back entrance. After him! Xuan Pai will find us himself! This is the informant, if I understand correctly. Did he manage to say anything? Yeah. Very funny. I found Wong Tai Shin's seal in the tea house, so I assumed that he was kidnapped by these samurai. We'll deal with this later, but now we should return to the ship, as I can already hear the guards shouting. The informant is dead and Wong Tai Shin has been kidnapped. We can consider the operation a failure for now. <sighs> Don't give up yet. I know a man here named Kage Mosha, who is a veteran bandit and has spies on every street corner. He must know something. He landed in jail recently and won't be easy to reach. However, I've never yet met a jailer who'd say no to a bottle of fine plum wine. I'm barred from going in there, and no amount of wine will change that. You will have to meet with Kage Mosha instead. He's generally not very talkative, so tell him Redbeard said hello. He will understand. What about the warriors who attacked us? They clearly want Wuku. Across inside a circle is the symbol of the Japanese Shimazu clan. The Ryukyu merchants have collaborated with them for a long time, and may be using their soldiers for protection. As if the Wuku weren't enough. Now we have samurai as well.
The ship's crew definitely won't be a hindrance to us anymore. 